what's happening guys so it's october 12th i think wednesday october 12th yeah so basically today what i wanted to take you through is the um the way i eat the, the goals that i have um etc etc we've got people on snapchat go follow somewhere down here um yeah asking me what my goals are uh, why i'm eating the way i'm eating what i'm eating etc so i'm going to take you through that today uh, we're going to be doing a bit of an edit later. It's going to be a different edit. I want to kind of do a session with some commentary over it so that you can see what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, what muscles is targeting, etc. So that's later. I'm headed off to lectures now. Um, yeah, so let's go. All right, so just before I head off, I just want to um, give you guys a bit of motivation for this last piece of year. So I follow this very motivational oak on YouTube, Dr. Eric Thomas, and what he says about the last quarter of the year is that the whole thing about it is that you don't necessarily need to start strong, but you do, however, need to finish strong. So no matter how your year started, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter of the year, that's done. Now it's fourth. So now we work. Now you write your goals down. Now you put all in and now you achieve those goals. So this last quarter can make you or it can just not. So, yeah, fourth quarter living, that's what it's called, hashtag that shit, and let's kill it. Yeah, got some game from my day, so she might say she love me, she don't love me like she said she love me, believe me, believe me. Right, so I've forgotten my access card, let's see if they let me in. So third day in a row now. Wow, I think that was a bit too easy, like scary easy. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I've just arrived here at lectures. Um, yeah. uh, can you please make a video on how to be as big as you? And I'm actually being serious. <laughs> <laughs> So I just finished up here in class. Um, I'm gonna start heading off to the gym now. Um, I'm thinking of training back and biceps or triceps, depending if Percy's there. If he's there, I'll do back and biceps. Uh, if he's not there, we'll just do an arms day, biceps, triceps. So yeah, we'll take you through it, show you what, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. I'll probably do some commentary over it. So yeah, let's go. Got my hydro charge, let's go and let's go kill it. Again. Open the screen so I can vlog it. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Right. Right, so we're out here at BC. Um, Percy's not training today, so we're just gonna hit an arm session, biceps, triceps. Uh, yeah, I was keen for back, but he's not here, so we're just gonna hit it up. Alright, what's up? Alright, so we're just gonna hit some arms today, biceps and triceps. We're gonna do DTP fashion, so for those of you who don't know what DTP is, it's a dramatic transformation process, or principle, sorry, dramatic transformation principle. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go heavy weights, uh, a lot of reps. Oh, shirt. I've gotta give a shout out to my boy, Devin. Uh, I'm thinking of getting these made uh, with the Marketry Fitness at the back here. But yeah, long sleeve, nice cut. Long cut, so it's kind of a scoop at the back. Yeah, so these, I'm hoping we're gonna get a couple of them made, uh, given them out to some people who really want them. Uh, but yeah, super nice to train in, nice material, very breathable, yeah. All right guys, so what I did today was I just warmed up with a few bicep curls, hammer curls, just to get the blood flowing into the muscles, getting the ligaments, joints, everything warmed up. Uh, then went on and did some side raises, front raises, rear raises, just to get the rotator cuff warm. Yeah, I usually do that before every session just to make sure that I'm avoiding any injury. So today started off with a super set of bicep curls and overhead rope extensions uh, in DTP fashion as explained before. 
So we superseded this uh, cable coil with the overhead rope extension doing 40 reps, 40 reps, 30 reps, 30 reps, 20, 20, 10, 10 and finishing with 5 and 5. Our next superset we then worked up so we went 5, 5, 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30 and 40, 40. As you can see right now the overhead rope extensions we focused a lot on that squeeze at the top. If that squeeze isn't possible because your muscles are fatigued just bring them up together like you can see right now. This is one of my favorite exercises for hitting a long head of the tricep. So this is our, I think our third set, it's coming closer to the 5 rep range. Every time you decrease that rep, so from 40 to 30, you need to increase the weight, so get heavier each time. Between each set you're going to want to take as little rest as possible with no rest in between the superset. So from the cable curls to the rope extensions, as little rest as possible. Between each set you'll have a rest of about a minute. Between each exercise of the superset you'll have a rest of about 5 seconds. None of the stuff I'm going to talk now. None of this stuff is actually, when you look at your oaks on Instagram, Facebook, all the photos that they upload, I guarantee they've trained before they take any of those photos. There's no one, no way someone looks how they look normal. Light to make sure. I just want people to know that that's not real. Training can help. Yeah. So our second superset of the day was a barbell curl, straight barbell curl superset with a tricep push down. We also did a sort of like a extension against the preacher curls. You'll kind of see what I mean just now. Throughout the superset I, I moved my position, my hand position in around a bit. So a bit later on I go more narrow as opposed to the neutral kind of grip that I have now which is about shoulder width apart. One of the reasons why I alternate my grips is because I've had wrist injuries in the past so sometimes a certain grip might aggravate that a bit more than another grip so depending on how I feel I'll alternate the grip. Currently I'm busy with the tricep push down, um, went quite heavy on these because the machine only went to about 35 kgs but with DTP it's extreme so you're definitely going to be getting a workout. So by this stage I was already pretty fatigued so it was a matter of mind over matter and you just have to get there and get shit done so nobody's going to be there to push the weight for you and nobody's going to be there to achieve your goal so this is at that point where you know you've got to push that extra bit harder just to achieve what you have set out to achieve. Bit of control cheats on that last one. So this was the variation of the skull crush that I was talking about earlier. This is an absolutely crazy exercise. So anybody who wants that extra pump at the end, just try this. Go to failure on each set and uh, yeah, just see how far you can actually take yourself. What I told you earlier about fourth quarter living. Another thing I want to talk to you about is uh, if something doesn't challenge you, it's not going to change you. Yeah, it's a, everybody says that, but it's very true. I mean, if you coming into the gym and you're just half assing it, it's not going to help you, you're not going to change. So get into the gym, earphones in. They're playing some sick music, so I took them out. But yeah, get earphones in, take everything out of your mind, and just focus on challenging yourself, changing yourself, because that's what's going to make you better. So yeah, we're down to our second last set now, and then we'll probably do about 10 minutes of abs. Yeah. What I wanted to show you in this session was basically just the, the whole the principle behind DTP and the fact that you don't need to come to the gym for an hour, hour and a half a day to change yourself. You can come for 45 minutes and you can do the exact same thing, get the changes you want. 
and uh, yeah, achieve those goals. So nearing the end of this workout I had to incorporate the rest pause principle whereby I failed so I put the weight down for about 5 to 10 seconds, picked it up again and banged out the last couple of reps. This really helps especially when you're doing a lot of reps with heavy weight, this is definitely going to benefit you. The exercise following this one in the superset was the tricep push down as I mentioned earlier. This specific exercise will zone in on the meat, the lateral head, sorry, the lateral head of the tricep. Most tricep exercises incorporate all three heads, but this one focuses specifically on the lateral head. As Mr. Steve Cook says, last set, best set. Let's go. Alright, so this was our last set, finishing off with 40 reps on the barbell curl, 40 reps on the tricep push down, and then our variated skull crusher thingy my bob uh, till failure. Rest pause principle. Rest like five, ten seconds. Bang out the rest. Fifteen, let's go. So a few of you must be wondering if this is how I train constantly and the answer is no. I do not do this every single day of every week of the year, but uh, I do like to incorporate it every few weeks into my program even if it is just one of the DTP programs, but uh, I love shocking the body and the only way your body is going to grow is if you shock it and to put it in situations where it has no choice but to grow. So I find these short rest times, high weight, high reps has helped me. That's it for arms. Grab some water. Do some abs. Just do like a quick circuit of abs. And then let's get out of here. So for abs we did a sneaky tricep, we did some uh, weighted cable crunches, uh, superseded with hanging leg raises as well as these four oblique thingies. Not too sure what they're called, you can call them whatever you want, but yeah. We did three sets of these and by the end of that I was absolutely demolished, great workout.
Oh. You don't. Yeah. All right, so I just got back home now. I'm gonna have my fifth meal for the day. Um, yeah, just let me know if you liked that kind of video where I did, took you through the, the training, the commentary, basically showing you what to do, how to do it. Um, just remember, you're only going to achieve these goals if you go all in. So, eating meals, like I showed you throughout the video, eating frequent meals throughout the day is going to help me, help you, uh, achieve your goals. So, as usual, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think down below. Just let me know what you think about taking you through the workout um, via commentary.